What's the most shocking thing you've ever caught a family member doing? Possibly NSW. I caught my dad jerking off a few times. You would think if he was going to do it in his office, that he would at least close the door. He came out to greet me once. His hands touched my face. I laughed just imagining your wince as it happened. My mother had just started seeing a man who was 10 years a junior. Late one night, I got up from bed to get a drink from the kitchen and I saw her and the guy freaking on the living room floor. I immediately went back to my room hoping they didn't notice. Dang. Hate laying in bed thirsty, knowing that between you and the oasis of the kitchen sink lay the mind-numbing truth of your mother being pounded into an orgasmic bliss on the floor. I will describe a few things my cousin did. I didn't catch him doing them, but they're strange nonetheless. 1. He had guinea pigs for 2 days, after which they died. He buried them in a plastic ice cream container. He would dig them up several times a year to see how far they had decayed. Frequently he would surprise friends he brought over with the container. 2. We live near the ocean. A ferry service services a nearby wharf. This ferry is sometimes booked for weddings. My cousin was jumping off the wharf naked when the ferry came alongside with a wedding party. My cousin started turning naked some salt in the water so he could expose his balsack and butthole. 3. Across the road from the beach there is a large park. One evening there was a Christian youth group playing soccer. My cousin asked the leaders if he could play. He looked pretty normal initially, shirtless, with towel around the waist. Once they said he could play he stripped off the towel revealing his lime green g-string. He then ran through all the Christians and lay on the ball and started gyrating against it. 4. We went on a white water rafting trip with our families once when we were about 7. There were several families and couples on the trip. One guy in particular my cousin fixated on. He was with his recently married wife. So, for 5 days straight my cousin called him nothing but Merlin and challenged him to magical duels. Asked him about dragons, spells, demons, King Arthur etc. He was about 7 at the time. Merlin wanted to kill him at the end of it. 5. I once found him masturbating to pictures of fat, old women. He was totally nonchalant about it. I reckon he would've finished right there had I stayed. I believe your cousin is insanity Volf. Looked out my window to see my parents fricking in the hot tub. I quickly ran to my brother's room to tell him, and found him looking out the window and fapping. F- can't unthink dying. When I was 4 I came home from school to find my brother, 16 years old, letting his grasp of life go. He OD'd huffing on something. There were a bunch of high schoolers that skipped out to go to our house apparently to do this. He went first. Things went bad. They all bailed. No one called emergency services. So by the time I got them there he was dead. TL. DR. I caught a family member dying. Nothing could ever be more shocking. I hope that as it happened at the age of 4 you have forgotten a lot of the images. My best friend lived with my family for 18 months when we were in grade 4 because his dad was on trial for molesting his sister. At least 6 times I walked in on him and my older brother performing an interesting BJ69 type deal. They got more and more challenged about it until one night they were doing it in my bed and my parents walked in. An awkwardest week in my house ever. Funny story. Now they are both some of the most homophobic people I know and I'm gay. I guess we can assume the dad was guilty. One day I caught my cousin making out with his dog. He was full on making out with this dog and of course the dog was giving it back because. Well she was a dog. I watched for a moment and then I said something along the lines of what the frick. He denies it to this day but I know what I saw. A while back. I was probably 17 or 18 ish. I needed my father's camera for whatever. Probably wanted to take a myspace picture or some bulls. I did not own a camera of my own at this time. I found the camera but the memory card read full so I decided to look through the album and perhaps make some room on the card. I ended up finding a picture of a top down view of a dong. Why in the f? Whose dong is this? After the initial shock I assume it was a picture of my father's dong. My next thought, my shlong is larger than my pops. I'm not proud of that thought. When I was much younger I remember walking in on my parents while they were fooling around. My dad was sucking on my mom's breast. I remember making eye contact with my father. My mother's boob still in his mouth. He paused, again boob in mouth. 
He is not actually suckling but he's just a deer in the headlights at this point. I walked away very confused. Probably my first awkward moment. Last one is amazing. I was 8. My brother 6. I had a friend. 10 years. Who had a brother 12 years. They also had a sister 5 or 6 years. Their oldest bro had just learned about fricking through the physical ed class at school. Who told the younger brother. Who in turn told the younger sister. She proceeds to let my brother in on it. Note, through the process of telephone many, many key elements were lost in the process. Me and my 10 year old friend walk past the laundry room in our apartment complex a few days after. And what do we find? My little brother, but butt naked. On top of his butt butt naked little sister, humping like a freaking madman. This was no child's play. This was as hardcore as you can imagine. My little bro was going to town. Like Peter freaking North. Now, I doubt it was erect. And I doubt he actually penetrated. But man, the kid had heart. He was dominating that little girl. Of this, I am not exactly proud. I was kind of disgusted, as it was my first time ever seeing anything of the sort. My friend and I just stared in disgust at all. WTF are we watching? After about a minute of watching this, what happens? My mother comes to get the clothes she was washing out of the washer. Me and my friend hightail it around the corner. She walks in on a pea star in the making and proceeds to flip her freaking lid. As any normal person should do. My brother got his butt beat. We all got in trouble. Couldn't hang out for like 2 months. After our grounding. When we were finally allowed back outside a game to play with our friends. My little bro was back at it. He was caught three different times with that girl over the summer and preceding months. Doing the same crap. He swore up and down that she talked him into it each time. A few months after that, he was caught by our apartment manager with his dong in the daughter's mouth. That's right, the daughter of the apartment manager. Remember, this kid was 6 when it started, 7 at this point. No one ever believes this crap when I tell it. But I swear on bacon and narwhals that this is the honest truth. He still grins like a freaking clown every time I bring it up. Hope you see this, bro. Your secret is out. So I used to post pictures of my sad genitalia to fetish BBS back in the dial up days. Private message one day was from dear old dad. I stopped using the internet for 4 years after that. I caught my mom pretending to be me physically on the internet to guys who were either my age or underage at the time. She would send them pictures of me saying it was her and used my sister's name instead of mine. She was actually very abusive but the strangest thing is, I always thought they did not understand how they were hurting me. I then found a letter my mom wrote to a guy who was planning to come visit her. She wrote about how mean her parents were, actually describing some things they did to us, and said this is why he could not come. I would hear her nightly, change her voice for these guys and tell them stories that happened to me, pretending it was her all along. I hated my life. That is so fricked up. I hope you got away from her. I had to drive my mum to meet him stepdad for a bush in a strip. Since it was the holidays we brought my little brother and planned on staying there for the weekend. There was a party tea the hotel. So my mum and stepdad go. And I stay and play TF2 while my bro watches. He falls asleep and so I browse reddit for a while. But not 30 seconds after I put my laptop down and decided to sleep did my parents come and drunk. Strip naked and frick right fricking next to me. I pretend to be asleep but my step DD came too early and my mum kept yelling just make me CM I wanna CM so bad X. He eats her out then they frick again. Shower and then go to bed. After they fell asleep and were snoring. M brother rolls over and looks me directly in the eyes with a WTF look. That must have been horrifying. Well I went to my cousin's house. She was 4 years older than I was. And she was dating the next door neighbor. He was an alright dude but nothing special. And thus it was really no surprise that she was a typical girl. Well I was over at her house hanging out while my parents were away at a convention in Las Vegas and I decided to play Tony Hawk Pro Skater all day. Yes, the original on PSX. I played from 10am to 1pm and took a break for lunch. My 17 year old cousin made me grilled ham and cheese which was great. Her friend came over and they went to her room talking about boys etc. Now, at this time her parents were gone, 
as they both worked, and I heard her say earlier her friend was stopping by for fun. I knew enough to know what this meant and when I heard some strange noises I eagerly went to investigate, in hopes to catch some nudity real life ahem. Shock of my life when my cousin, girl, and her friend, also a girl, were kissing on her bed and feeling each other up. They did this for a few minutes and humped each other and then that was it. Quite possibly the most shocking and hottest thing I have ever seen in person. Even though I was peeping in on them at the time and it was fairly PG-13. TL. DR. Comes first due to content. My brother would frequently physically shame our German Shepherd. I discovered this one night in a Louisiana summer, with the blistering heat and everything. I was just all lying there, wishing I had a glass of water. 11 years old. So finally it started to keep me awake and I decided frick my brothers don't get up late at night. You'll wake me up rule and got up anyway. Now here's the thing. My brother's room was a remodeled garage, and the door had slats in it that opened and closed. The bar to open and close them was on the other side, but you could just peek through them by lifting one of the slats, you know. I hear the distinct sound of my brother being awake and mumbling something. So I'm like, what the frick? Our dreamcast is in his room, is he seriously just trying to keep me out at night so he can hog the dreamcast that I pitched in half for? We had Crazy Taxi and Power Stone and Shenmue and I hadn't beaten any of them and one of my biggest peeves at the time was my brother playing ahead in a game. Saving over my saves and therefore ruining it for me. I wasn't happy with that. I go into the kitchen, fetch my water, and on the way back, peek through the door. That image is going to be burned into my goddamn retina forever. In the dull glow of his crappy television was my fat frick brother boss naked. Fondling our dog, which he'd coerced into rolling onto its back. I did what any sensible 11 year old would do, screamed, and chucked the plastic cup of water at him and ran when he came running after me to shut me up. I've never been more horrified. So of course our parents found out, and of course we've hated each other ever since. He was 16 at the time by the way, and over the course of the next month, he tried running away from home 5 or 6 times. Eventually my parents just rented him an apartment and he's still a lazy piece of mooching crap to this day. If I sound bitter, it's because I am. I am tremendously bitter. Frick that. Frick having to cry rape on my brother for undulating his obese cashew dong toward our dog. Frick the bizarre crap that started to turn up on our computer. God damn it. Anyway the topic was shocking and I think that's the most shocking thing I can imagine. So there. Now I'm gonna resume never thinking about this again. TL. DR. 2. Crazy Taxi is still a frick load of fun. I freaking love Crazy Taxi. I grew up in the 70s and our house was one where dad brought home the bacon and mom during the day cleaned house. Watched soaps. Talked on the phone. And made dinner. She made everything from scratch and one day she made some sort of chicken casserole that was pretty darn good. This summer evening dinner is forever etched in my mind. Being about 36 years ago. I'm 9. One brother is 7. One is 2 in his high chair. And one of my 7 year old brother's friends is visiting for dinner. We're eating the delicious chicken and egg noodle casserole when my little brother starts coughing in his high chair. No he's choking. My mom jumps up and starts hitting his back. And screaming he's choking I guess the Heimlich didn't come to their minds back then. Especially with a 2 year old. He's turning red and obviously unable to breath. My dad jumps up and with his big man hands grabs him out of the high chair and tries to reach into his throat for whatever was in there and the boy bites the heck out of his finger. At this time the kid is turning blue and I guess I was just sitting there mouth agape. As that is what the 7 year olds were doing. My dad then holds the baby upside down and is pounding his back. At that point this terror enters my mind that my little brother is going to die. I start crying and run outside and fall onto the summer ground. I can see every blade of grass on that patch of lawn and hear my dad yelling and my mom telling the other kids to get out. Probably within a minute later we hear the kids screaming and I'm awash with this crazy wave of relief. Apparently there was a bone or two in the chicken casserole. I don't think my parents made us finish our supper that night. My little brother grew up to be a successful pilot in the air force. I learned the Heimlich. My brother used to leave streaks of crap on the wall by the toilet. We used to always ask him WTF. He'd say shooting hoops eventually we found out he'd crap in his hand while in the tub and shoot hoops. 
I was put in a foster home at the age of 3 cause my mom went to prison for 25 years and my dad split before I was born. My foster parents aren't the greatest people in the world but all my basic needs were mostly met growing up. My foster dad was a truck driver and was always on the road. My foster mom was really into M but usually only did it on the weekends in a party setting at our house. I can't tell you how many times I have heard my foster mom was freaking with random men and activities such as that. It was normal to me growing up. One night when I was around 10, I walked downstairs to get something to drink, and my foster mother and one of her female friends were in the living room in a 69 position on the floor in front of the couch. I was speechless, and I remember just standing there and was going to sort of tiptoe back to my room, but my foster mom heard me and turned around. She said something along the line of come here and watch us play. I remember thinking that it was so weird to see two females doing this to each other. My brother is a freaking weirdo. We will just start it like that. Basically, he always found it really funny to run into whatever room someone was in, pull his bare butt cheeks apart and fart at them and then hysterically laugh at them. I mean, it really was quite funny sometimes, but this one time... My mom and I were in her room talking and all of a sudden my brother bursts through the door, spins around, does the obligatory spread, but this time something disgustingly magical happened. The most perfect, spherical ball of crap about the size of a large ball bearing shot out of his butt and landed on the floor in front of us. Silence. Then my mom and I proceeded to laugh so hard we cried and my brother was so mortified that he started crying and ran out. He was 11. Man that was amazing. Little crap never did that again. Not family but. First boyfriend ever. 9th grade. We were in my basement. My parents were out to dinner and my brother was. I don't know where. But that's irrelevant. A led to B and B led to first BJ. We were probably 5 minutes in. And my boyfriend starts moaning like crazy. He put his hand on the back of my head, said, baby, I'm gonna then he farted. I couldn't get away from it because his hand was on my head and I didn't know what the heck to do. So I just finished it. I broke up with him when I got diagnosed with pinky a week later. Hope this doesn't get buried. Took me freaking forever to find the balls. Boobs. To tell anyone that's where my little spout of pinky. While my parents were going through a divorce, I was 15 or so. Dad comes wakes me up one morning for some work outside. I grew up on a farm, so nothing unusual with that. He leads me way out to behind a barn in a secluded spot where he has marked off a roughly 3 feet by 7 feet rectangle. He hands me a shovel and just tells me to keep the sides square. How deep I asked him. About 6 feet should be fine he replied. I was digging a grave for my mother. That's all I could think. I thought the stress of the divorce had finally gotten to him and he was gonna go down in a fit of Ifakan Thavayana Bodikan. He just walked away and left me there to dig what I was sure was my mother's grave. Or mine and my brother's. I didn't know. I just started digging. I dug for a few hours. Cutting out roots. Dig dig dig. We had supper in almost total silence. Dad just sat there while we ate our cube steak and Velveeta shells and cheese. The next morning I headed back out and finished up. I wasn't really sure what else to do. I went back to the house and waited for him. Scared shitless. He finally came and got me with the wheelbarrow and then had me hauling a load of dirt to an old non-functioning deep freezer. What the frick? This was getting weird. It was really frustrating and confusing because he never would tell us what the heck he was doing when we'd work with him. He'd just give us a piece of the puzzle. Later he backs his pickup up to the house and tells us to load it up with trash. We had a ton of trash building up on the porch because my mom usually dealt with it and she'd been gone about 3 weeks. We load up a few big barrels and hop in the back and he drives to the grave that I now realize is a big burn hole. So, with an indescribable sense of relief I stood and watched our trash burn. Finally he took us out to the deep freezer. He had mixed in a big bag of potting soil and compost with the dirt, and then took a big styrofoam container full of night crawlers and dumped them in. When he closed the lid he had written on top worm farm, then was just grinning big and said we'd go fishing later. God damn it dad. Later that day my brother and I were playing some baseball and I decided to head inside real quick for a drink and came through a side door that we hardly ever used that led into our living room. I caught dad watching the American XXC channel with his pants down. 
He jumped up to change the channel, but tripped on his pants and just held a hand up to me and yelled no oh oh oh. Don't look it was shocking at first, but then it was just really sad. My grandma walked up to a group of male relatives at a family gathering and said, What do you call a Mexican gal with no legs? Consuelo. Siwelo. She is your otherwise typical 1950s military housewife. That may be the joke, but I think it's actually consulo, which means with floor. The joke would be told to Spanish speakers. It's not me or my family, but it's a story my ex-choir director told me. Before he was my choir director he worked at a different high school. After the final show of the year, there was nothing left to do so he had students bring in movies to watch in class. One of the students brought in what she thought was a musical on VHS. Nope. It turned out that her parents had taped over the musical with their homemade pee. When I was a kid, my older brother used to come stay with me and my parents whenever he got evicted from his apartment, which was actually quite often. I remember one time, he was in the bathroom forever, taking a bath. I had to pee really bad and kept knocking on the door asking him to hurry up. When he finally came out, he was just wearing a towel. He leaned down to my level and whispered in my ear, my balls float. My parents moved to Ireland in 2000. I moved there short term and my mother always told me not to knock and just come into the house. They never locked the door except at night. So I finished work and texted my mum to tell her I would be over soon. She said no problem. Walk in the gate. Open the door. My dad is masturbating to pee on the computer. Computer was located under the stairs. He then almost fell off his chair with shock at seeing me. Then decided to turn off the monitor. So then my mum is in the other room. Taking a nap. She wakes up. My dad is all flustered. And she asks him if he is okay. He says he is fine and he goes to the bathroom. She looks at me laughing and says was he masturbating by the computer again. Funniest moment ever. Even more so because a year later my mum died suddenly and thinking about how funny she reacted to her husband being caught fapping got me through all the heartbreak. When I was a kid. I used to visit my dad who lived in another city. He was always a ladies man. Hence him not living with my mother anymore. Whenever we'd go to a lake during the summer, he would always have a girl there that he was probably freaking at the time. So here are the three awkward encounters of me and my dad. 1. We were at a lake once and when we went swimming, my dad fricked the girl that was with us in the water. Kind of in a standing position and he kept saying that he's just holding her up because she's a bad swimmer. 2. I remember some late nights where my dad would drive out to some remote location to buy cheap petrol from a shady dude that he knew. Well I came along sometimes because I thought it was cool to do something illegal, I was a silly kid. One night he brought a girl along with us and after the whole petrol transaction thing, I fell asleep in the back seat and later on woke up to them fricking in the front seat. I was like what are you guys doing to which the woman replied I'm just giving your dad a massage. Do you want one also? I quickly declined but in all honesty I really didn't want one. P. 3 this one is quite simple. My dad had a one bedroom apartment since he was a bachelor and we slept in the same double bed because there were no more beds. One night he fricked a girl right beside me. When I woke up, in my own head I was like seriously. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. for now.